Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, we are gonna tie up the standard, good old fashioned elk care caddis today. Um, this will be the original elk, elk care caddis, or at least as original as I know it. Um, nothing fancy, nothing special, um, but it's a, it's an, an incredible fly. I'm sure everybody that's, that's ever fished a caddis hatch has probably tied one of these on at some point. So not an overly difficult fly, but um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're tying this one. This will be a size 14, tying it on a TMC 100 uh, standard dry fly hook. Simple little dry fly hook. Uh, this one's going to end up being kind of grayish in color. Uh, so we're using an ADOT uni thread. We'll start by tying the thread down. Quick little break. And as we work our thread towards the back, we're gonna tie in our rib, which for the rib, I'm gonna use uh, extra small, extra small silver tinsel. And we'll tie that in, tie that in towards the back. And let's get that. There we go. Okay, now the next part is to do the dubbing for the body. Um, and for this one, uh, I'm using frog's hair dubbing. Um, I've had this little pack of dubbing for probably over 20 years. It seems to last forever because you really don't use very much of it at a time. Um, this stuff is really is really dense. It's quite thick. Um, so when I put this when I put this on, if you look really closely. Um, dubbing is made up of all these tiny little individual fibers and I'm going to pull out just a, enough that you can barely see it. And we're going to try to get each of those little fibers to wrap around the thread and I'm going to spin that so it's, it's on there good and tight. And the reason why you want this to be really thin is because if you... Uh, if you don't get it wrapped tight around the thread, then it, uh, when this fly hits the water, there's potential for um, water to get inside the little air pockets that are made inside the dubbing. And that's what uh, weighs the fly down and will end up uh, preventing your fly from, from being able to float very well. Grab a little bit more. Don't rush on this part. Always wanna make sure you do this properly, otherwise the fly literally will not float. I'm just going to build up a slight taper. And stop right before, right before the hook of the eye. Okay, now we'll do the hackle. Um, so I've got a, uh, I've got a grizzly hackle for this one. Like we said, this one's going to be gray. And when I tie this one in, um, I pull these hackle fibers back a little bit and then trim off trim off just a little bit not all the way down to the to the stem of the hackle but um, just enough that that gives the thread something to something to grab onto handful of tight wraps and then we're ready to uh, polymer the hackle back so just do evenly spaced as you can as the hackle makes its way to the back. There we go. And now with the wire, we're gonna reverse wrap the wire. And we're gonna bring that through the hackle. And again, trying to keep those wraps as evenly spaced as possible. right up to where a thread is. Couple good tight wraps. You should be able to helicopter that off and we'll trim our hackle in the back. And I'm just gonna kind of clean up the eye. Make sure there's no 
fibers blocking the eye. And the last part is to uh, build our wing. Forgot my hair stacker. Um, so we're doing elk hair, uh, and I'm actually gonna use a dyed elk hair on this one, um, just cause I can see it a little bit better on the water. Uh, I got my good old fashioned hair stacker that I've had for, well, been tying for almost 25 years. So I've had it for 25 years. Um, put a little in there. hair should be stacked as evenly as possible. You can pull out any, um, sometimes you get a few really short fibers in there. So you pull out any of the ones and make sure you get all that under hair. Take all the under hair out of there. And we want this wing to be just slightly longer than the length of the hook. There we go. So when that wing lays flat, it's just about the length of the fly. There we go, four or five good tight wraps. And then we can trim the head. And there we go. Now we'll throw in a whip finish. And try not to double over on any of the hair that you got there, just take your time. And there we go. Add a tiny little drop of head cement at the end. And that is our elk hair caddis. That's all there is to it. Give you a look, kind of a 360 look at it. There we go. All right. That's it. Good luck. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed the video.